Get ready to go. Sprint cars at Bay Park. Murphy didn't get the greatest to start. Skitty jumped him off the outside of the front row. And Rodney Wood. Well, Bay Park, Peter Murphy. Throws a slide job at him in the first turn. As Murphy's running around the outside of Entwistle. Darn just about got into the back of Terrell. Wow. Colson streaking away. Chased by Wood. Murphy. Geez, that'll be an interesting conversation with that slider from Rodney Wood. Let's see what the first flying lap's going to be. Skinny loops up onto the infield. He's trying to keep it running, but it's dropped him out of the lead. A mistake from Skinny Colson. Rodney Wood leads. 14s are in the 14 second range. 14 8. We've seen a 13 5 at opening night. Track a little bit drier than we saw early on in the first night. Rodney Wood leads. Chased by Peter Murphy. Watch the wheel work from inside the cockpit of the Dalton's 11. He's wearing his breast cancer awareness race suit. As Wood gets hung up in lap traffic, two cars immediately ahead. I don't know if that is Daniel Lee in the Marty 78. But a smoke out the left side of the Dalton's 11. Third is James Darm, fourth Colin Entwistle, fifth Bradley Terrell, sixth Keaton Darm, Steve Walling nearly goes around in the 99. So Rodney Wood trying to hold off the American, here he comes, Peter Murphy winding up with some momentum now. 14-2 from James Darm. And James Darn closing in on Rodney Wood and Peter Murphy. Murphy thought about the slider, but Rodney Wood, pretty good race car going there at the moment. I've got no lap times for Rodney Wood for some reason, but he is definitely up front and leading the Mackin 2 Pullet Farms. 51 Eagle chassis, battle of the chassis. Eagle versus Maxim, Murphy and a Maxim, James Darn and a Maxim. James now trying to get the bottom to work in the Hydrolink 6M. More lap traffic coming up for the leaders. Fourth is now Bradley Terrell in the 14. Go back to Keaton Dunn with a nice slider on Colin Entwistle for that fifth position. As Murphy goes around the outside of Gary Hancock. Here comes Dunn to the inside. Trying to put a pass on the American. He's got the bottom working beautifully in the Hydrolink 6 and makes it stick over there off turn 2 onto the back straight. Rodney Wood could be vulnerable now because James Dunn is the fastest on the racetrack. Fastest lap speed of 14-2 from James Darm. He throws the slider. Wood contact off the exit of two. Murphy's going to take advantage of it as well. Four laps to go. James Darm leads. Started from the third row. Here comes Bradley Terrell starting to reel in Rodney Wood as the track's just drying off. He's just, he can't get the car into three. It's James Darm with three laps left to go. 14-0, James Darm's just done the fastest lap. In fact, no, Ter Murphy went 14-0-3. Murphy at a 14-0-3. Up over that mat darker material through three and four. But Mr. Angry is on a mission. Terrell's got by Rodney Wood for third. Lap traffic now for Darm. Little hesitation, Murphy's going to try and get around the outside. White flag, one to go. Murphy right with the Tokoroa base down. Side by side from two down the back straight. Tom's not lacking for horsepower, I can tell you that much. Murphy's going to try the top side run out of the final corner. A run down the flag, Darm just on the line from Peter Murphy. Two, Rodney Woods. It'll be the 88 of Keaton Darm, 66 Skinny Colson. Peter Murphy with some work to do in traffic. He started off the front row for heat number one. Steve Walling got the jump around the outside down into turn number one. Brett Terrell with a good start up the inside of Kerry and James. Entwistle and Murphy way up top. Murphy drives around uh, Rodney Wood. He's pulling the wheels up halfway down the back straight with a wheel stand. Kilworth and Keaton Darm got together. Kilworth parked in the turn number four just off that restart line and very, very lucky not to get collected. New Zealand Sprint Car Grand Prix. Certainly one of the big shows here at Bay Park this season with all of the visitors from out of town from Auckland, down south. Uh, we'd probably expect to see well up over 30 cars for the New Zealand Sprint Car Grand Prix. Check it out. The date's on the Bay Park website. BayParkSpeedway.co.nz As we go back racing, James Darm winds up on the top side. He did all his hard work in the first heat. He started from the third row. He's got that top groove working beautifully. Walling leads at Keaton Darm. Darm's two and three. 
Younger brother leading the older brother. Here comes Brad Terrell up into fourth. Kerry and James Rodney Wood with a much better start. Slots into the sixth position. Oh, Walling rolled it in hard into three. He winged the car down. That might be an older gambler chassis, but... He's driving the wheels off the thing out in front. Here comes Darwin Terrell again. Peter Murphy back in the seventh, eighth position, battling there with Skinny Colson, the two Dalton's teammates effectively. Murphy's just trying to get that top line to Merck. He drives around Colson. He can't get clear of Kerry and James. James Darwin with the monster slide job through one and two. That is one of the biggest sliders you will ever see. Jamie Duff pulled a pearly here two weeks ago. That was a stunning pass from the Hydrolink 6M pilot. Here comes Terrell. He rolls up over in front of the front wing of Steve Walling's 99 with another slider through his two, one and two. Keaton Dunn back in fourth. Rodney Wood fifth. He's on the brakes trying to keep the Pat McAdoo Pullet Farms 51 down on the low side. Kerry Ann James continues to hold off Peter Murphy. So Murphy not quite with the setup as Wood gets to the outside of uh, uh, Keaton Dunn. Fastest lap of the race of 14 and a half from James Darm. 14 and a half seconds around the Bay Park quarter mile. Just gets delayed there by the back marker. Lap car, Brad Terrell spins. The Marty Sign 78 spins, brings out the yellows. Lights are out, back to green. Nine laps still left to go. Listen to these things wind up RPM. 9,000 plus RPM. Rodney Wood tried the slider on Walling down into one. He's going to clear him down the back straight. The right front was up in the air. Here comes Murphy. He would have been on the shocks making some adjustments. Maybe a uh, wing angle adjustment as well. He's got that top line working now. He wasn't so good up there. He drives around Rodney Wood. He tries to come back at him up the inside. Murphy. He was flat into turn one. He did not lift. He's definitely got that car better off that last restart. And if ever you see a transformation of a car, that is it there is. We've got a yellow, Kilworth and Skinny Car. No, it's uh, Colin Entwistle. Seven laps left to go. James Dunn leads them down, chased by Terrell Murphy Woods. What can Peter Murphy do? He goes upstairs, wings the car down. He's going to try and drive around Terrell, but Terrell's got good exit speed down the back straight. He's going to have a go at James Dunn, but here comes Murphy. He is well high. Dunn holds on to it. Terrell trying to get the inside run. Murphy not as good that time off the top. Didn't quite get off two the way he liked. But Brad Terrell looking pretty racy here. Murphy definitely better through three and four. Just about got into the right rear of Terrell. Darm's actually starting to drive away from them again. A 14-3 fastest lap of the race from James Darm off the back of that restart. So he is getting better. Just getting some... Heat into the right rear tyre. Jack the front end across off four. He's driving away here from Terrell and Pete Murphy. Pete Murphy spent a lot of time with Brad Terrell last year on setups and uh, just showing him the ropes. Brad Terrell relatively inexperienced compared to certainly Peter Murphy and Rodney Wood in a sprint car. But towards the end of the last season, he was one of the best here. But, uh, well, the benchmark right now is James Darm tonight. 14.307, two laps left to go for the Hydrolink 6M. Maxim chassis, one, two, and three. Murphy's now just changed his lines, trying to go up the inside. Rolls it down through three and four. White flag comes out. Darm's going to win it. Murphy on the top. He winged it down. He drove around Terrell. He sort of got stalled mid-corner right in the middle of the racetrack, and we got two around at the other end. Bringing out the yellows again, Kerry and James and Les Mazaris. I think they're going to call it a lap short with that uh, last yellow. I don't think it would have made too much difference. James Darnham had that covered. Lights are out. We're going green. 25 laps. Murphy effectively starting from last, but we've got a couple of uh, rookies starting out the back so he's got uh, two less cars to have to try and pass but he's got James Darm who is on fire tonight and Brad Tyrrell who's been strong Skinny Colson, Rodney Wood and uh, name a few more to try and get to as he goes upstairs stairs early gets around Kerry and James and Greg Kilworth as Tyrrell goes to the bottom of Darm and Darm's got it stuck on the top drives around and that's where Murphy's gone upstairs in the Dalton's 11 
but James Darm out in front, fast opening laps. Murphy winding up on the top. Goes like uh, goes by Colin Entwistle, like he was standing still. Look at the corner speed difference between himself and Steve Walling down into three. Murphy already up to the sixth position. He's right up on the cushion. Brett Terrell and Skitty Colson battling for second. Darm starting to get away. Faster slap for James Darm. 14.54 seconds. Murphy's upstairs. Now goes to the wall with Rodney Woods. Keaton Darm just ahead of them in the fourth spot. Murphy definitely better on the top. Drives around Wood. That was close. They just about got together halfway down the back straight as uh, Wood just about ran out of racetrack. Skitty Colson goes around Brad Till. Till not as good in the middle of the racetrack. Murphy goes around Keaton Darm to fourth. Peter Murphy's last lap was a 14-8, James Darm. Oh, that was Brad Till and Colson. Colson shut down right in front of him. Loses power on the Hydrolink 66P and that's gonna bring out a yellow. We'll get a word from, uh, from Skinny in a second. Looks like we're about to restart. Lights are out, we are going back green. James Darm, Till, Murphy from the back. The yellow certainly helped. Oh, he hand whistled, threw one down on Keaton Darm. Murphy with an inside run on Till up to second. Has he got something for James Darm? Now switches back to the bottom of the racetrack, trying some different lines. Darm on the top, Murphy on the bottom. Terrell sluts back into the third spot. Rodney Wood and Keaton Darm, fourth and fifth. Darm certainly likes the cushion. He's got to be careful, he doesn't wear that line out though as Peter Murphy's trying to work on some fresh lines. Trying the slider, he can't get the momentum. Darm's still too good on the top, but he runs the risk of maybe wearing that groove out as Murphy again looks to the inside, side by side, down to the strike. Darm leads it, but only just. Murphy's got the car down on the brakes, trying to keep it low into one to try and not stall momentum in the middle of the corner. Darm still up top through three and four. Murphy again pulls up alongside. 16 laps to go. Oh, James Darm did not lift into one that lap. He's got that cushion, cushion beautifully in the Hydrolink 6M. He's got certainly one of the best that's to it here in New Zealand, chasing him down, trying to get the bottom to middle to work. Last year with the front row challenge, Murphy come up less than a car length short. I think it was with Rodney Wood in the end. But the green, the race went green to check it. There were no yellow flags. Lap traffic now. James Darm's got to make the right decisions. Here comes Murphy. Darm gives him the room on the top side. Murphy's still committed to running the bottom and middle. Maybe just waiting for James to wear out that high line as Laz Mazaris retires to the infield. Skinny's up on the top of the 66 watching this race. James Darm, Murphy. Terrell's still third. Lap traffic for the Ferns, 14. Fourth is Keaton Darm. Fifth, Rodney Wood. Sixth, Colin Entwistle. Seventh, Steve Walling battling there with Greg Kilworth. Then go back to Kerry and James. But Darm and Murphy. Still James Darm on the tap. That car is just about perfect. 12 laps to go. Murphy, he can't quite commit to that big slider because Darm's got too much momentum on the top. If he misjudged it, it'd just take each other out. He's getting closer though, but James through one and two is just superb. Has not put a wheel wrong so far. Can he sustain the challenge? The pressure from Peter Murphy. James knows he's there. He's looking out the left-hand side of the car at him. Murphy within a car length. James gets off two really well. Now really trying to get that bottom to work. Nearly pulls up alongside, but Darm is too good through one and two. He's got that cushion worked out perfectly. James didn't get a great run. Here comes Murphy. More lap traffic coming up. Eight laps to go. Darm tags the wall with the right rear. Out of four. Here's Murphy's chance. Slides up in front. Darm's trying to get a run down the back. Has it hurt the right rear of the six? He ran a little bit wide. First mistake, and he climbed the fence with the right rear. You can see the concrete mark on the right side tire, and that's allowed Murphy through to the lead. One little mistake, that's all it took. And James is just struggling to get the momentum built up. As we've got one around right in front of Kerry and James, just as the leaders were lapping them. As we go, Here we go, go mate. Out. Here we go, back to the restart. Got a great start. James Darm didn't get the best of starts. Look out for Bradley Terrell. He's going to try the slider. These two live in Tokoroa. There's a few of the Tokoroa boys out here this weekend. 
He got the run. Brent Terrell into second. James Dunn ran a little bit wide. Here goes Darmsey. He throws the slider and Terrell had to throw everything out to miss him. James committed to that one. There was no love lost in that pass. But Peter Murphy driving away out in front. Here comes Rodney Wood to the party. Darm drives around Brent Terrell. Those two are trading slide jobs. Here's one from Rodney Wood. He slides up in front of Terrell. Oh, something's going to happen here between second, third and fourth. Rodney Wood parks himself in between the two Tokoroa boys as Peter Murphy on a wire is driving away. Oh, he just about got up in the fence himself. He got right up out towards the concrete through two. Settles it back down. Four laps left to go for the American. Fastest lap still James Darm at a 14.54. Rodney Wood, he goes around Darm. I think Darm's worn that top groove out. He can't get the car to stick through the bottom of the middle. Murphy driving away. Here comes Rodney Wood. The new eagle likes the slicker conditions. Uh, James is struggling. I think it's damaged the right rear. The car was moving about on the, on the straight here down in front of me. Terrell goes by him. Darm definitely got a problem. It's probably shaken the rear end out of that car after that contact with the concrete earlier on. So disappointing in for James Darm in the Hydrolink 6M, but Peter Murphy, this is what we came to watch. One of the best at what he does. White flag comes out for Peter Murphy. The Dalton's 11. Rodney Wood, Brad Tyrrell, Colin Entwistle, Greg Kilworth, problems for Keaton Darm. The front wing dislodged on the Eagle 188. But put your hands together, Peter Murphy wins tonight's feature from the back of the grid. Rodney Wood into second. He glances off the front straight fence. 14, Bradley Turrell, third, followed by 29, Colin Entwistle, 75, Greg Kilworth. James Darm parks on the infield. 23, Kerry and James next. <laughs> I can hear him from here. <laughs> yeah, he's just deafened us down here on the infield, that's for sure. One happy Australian. You can just give him uh, a moment to take the helmet off. Two Dalton's features. Two Dalton's features, that's right. They've had a good time tonight, Dalton's, that's for sure. Peter, what a pleasure. A pleasure having you here, my friend. There's the trophy for the feature win. I've got to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you like this place? Oh, I absolutely love it. Um, you know, any place where it rains during the day and you come race it at night, it's, it's beautiful. Um, Track preparation here was really good tonight. Um, hats off to the guys that were doing the track. Um, it's a great racetrack. Oh, yeah, as you can see, there was two grooves there. You can run the top or the bottom. Um, once it got to the lead there, the young mate in the, in the six car, he's a great little driver. Um, got a big future. If he come over and hung out with us, he'd probably go someplace. You know, I was just thinking that, mate, while you were driving alongside him there, lap after lap, he's got a future, all right? And I, I think you mentioned him earlier on the night, too, that uh, he was someone to look out for. Yeah, he's definitely got a big future. And, um, you know, when you can run that close to people like that, um, don't know him, but I've got a lot of respect for him. Yeah. So I'd like to especially thank all the Dalton people up there. Um, uh, you know, without them, Neil and, and um, Colin and, and Phil and Dion and, and, and Bubbles and Steve, and all, there's just a bunch of them. I think everyone from Matter Matters up here tonight. So, um, it's a, you know, I don't know if the lights are still on there or not, but it's, um, we'll go home and have a party tonight. We'll have some Jack Daniels in the, underneath the shed there later on. So, Mate, thanks very much. Come on, folks, one more round of applause for our visiting driver, Peter Murphy sensational driving I'm sure you'll agree hopefully we'll see him again sometime this season